goodies. I'm looking like I just destroyed my kitchen with my horrible cooking skills. Ah, oh, the microwave is even on fire. How do you burn pizza rolls? Horrible cooking aside, there is one thing that I definitely know how to make, and it's the word of the week brew. So, do you want your word of the week or like what? <laughs> this week's word is disdain. As defined, disdain is a noun that means open dislike for someone or something considered unworthy of one's concern or respect. Ugh. I shall give you nothing, none of my time, plebeian. Well, to go with this brew, let's go ahead and sprinkle in some synonyms to try and make it a little bit more nice. Some synonyms for the word disdain are despite, scorn, loathe, and hate. Ugh. I'm starting to disdain the word disdain. Here it is, used in a sentence. Mr. Angry Antonym's disdain for Mr. Goody Grammar is a deep-rooted issue. Grammar goodies, disdain isn't just a noun, it's also a verb. As defined, disdain is a verb that means to show dislike for. You're actively disliking something, openly showing that you're like, ugh, no, 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 don't like that. Here it is used as a verb in a sentence. The Kool-Aid Man disdains freezers and evaporation. Ugh, Kool-Aid Man, I think you're starting to get heat stroke. You want some ice cubes? You want a little ice cube? Cool you down? Just a little ice cube? Just one? No? Okay. Urgh, urgh. Speaking of disdain, so... I have to mess up his word of the week brew by adding some antonyms. Urgh. Some antonyms for the word disdain are tolerance, acceptance, and respect. None of which I have for general grammar, especially Mr. Goody Grammar. to get that guy out of there. Why? Oh yeah, it's time for you to take the Word of the Week challenge. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and create an original sentence that uses the word disdain in it. Then go ahead and bah, post it into the comment section below. If it makes us <laughs> laugh and it uses the word correctly, we'll go ahead and give you a shout out in an upcoming episode. Well, Grammar Goodies, that's all for today. I have to go help out the Kool-Aid man in the freezer. Apparently, he had a brain freeze, so he's frozen solid. Anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for dropping by General Grammar. And come in. Anytime. I'll see ya.